what's up guys it's Charles here with D2IP Designs and I'm bringing you another tutorial uh, today's tutorial is going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial and I'm going to show you how to create a strawberry and I know some of you are thinking like oh you know there's tutorials already for creating strawberries and that's true but uh, I'm also going to show you how to do the chocolate and real flow and how to do the leaves and um, there's one other thing I do with the strawberry that um, I haven't seen in a tutorial uh, which involves this this uh, shader here. So uh, I'm going to leave this open uh, for reference. So anyway, first things first, let's go ahead and grab out a sphere. We're going to change the type to icosahedron. I do believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not certain. Segments, um, I'm going to leave it at 24 uh, just because it should help keep everything running smoothly. More pieces means longer uh, wait times. So now let's go into our deformers and grab out, let's see, bulge, drag the bulge under the sphere. And now strength, we're going to want to bring that in quite a bit, probably around 70. Bring it up and then click on fill it. Okay. Looks like that's maybe a little bit too much. Um, oh, well one thing we want to do is uh, increase the uh, Y. So probably about 300 would be good. And let's bring this in. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to, actually, you know what, I'm not going to offset it. Um, I was just saying that you can drag this side to side to offset it a little bit and give it a less perfect look. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the perfect look. Drag this over a little more. There we go. All right, I'm going to go with that. As you can see, the edges look a little rough, but that'll that'll be taken care of in a little bit. So next thing we want to do is create the seed. So let's go ahead and uh, make this so that we can't see it. So it's not interfering with our uh, seed. Okay, so we're going to grab another sphere. I'm going to make this size 3, or the radius 3. Um, you can do 2 or 3. Um, I think 3 is best. So now I'm going to grab another bulge, put it underneath the sphere again. Um, we're going to make it 50 by 50 by 50. That might be a bit big. Yeah, that's a bit big. Let's do uh, 20 by 35 by 20. Um, that's better. All right, so strength, once again, we're going to want to bring that in or down and um, adjust the shape of this here. We want it to be somewhat of an oval with a slightly larger bottom on it. So probably something like this. We can always go in and change it later. So now that we've created that, we're going to want to come into... Uh, where is that? Hypernerbs. Um, go ahead and drag the strawberry into the hypernerbs. Um, we can go ahead and turn that stuff back on. And this hypernerbs here will help clean it up a bit. Um, I'm going to turn everything down to 1 for now, and uh, already you see it's a lot smoother. So back to our seeds. I'm going to go ahead and name these so we don't get them confused. Berry and seeds. Okay, so go ahead and go to MoGraph and grab out a cloner. Uh, we're going to want to drag the seeds into the cloner. And then mode, change that to object, and drag the uh, berry into the object. So now you can see, actually wrong, we don't want to do that just yet, uh, or actually we don't want to do it at all. What we want to do is we want to grab the berry uh, sphere. We don't want to grab the hypernerves, we want the sphere because the hypernerves is going to cause there to be way too many seeds, okay? So we only want the sphere, so go ahead and drag the sphere. Okay, there we go. Now as you can see they're all facing random directions. Um, all we need to do is go to up vertex or up vector vector. There we go. Up vector and then change it to Y plus. And now we can see that they're all going in the same direction. Um, I'm gonna change the look of the seeds a little bit. Um, I think something like that's probably gonna look a little bit better. Alright. So now I'm gonna change that to seed. Okay, so we have our berry and we have our seeds. Uh, next thing, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab out, let's see, 
uh, go in here and grab a connect and grab a oh what is it called go into the deformer and grab a uh, collision now let me just reference back and make sure I get this right okay that's what I thought collision goes under the connector and then in the connector go ahead and drag in the berry and then under collision go ahead and drag in the seed and then we're going to want to change the solver to outside volume and I'm going to go ahead and up the uh, subdivision editor to uh, 3 alright so let's see what we want to do next under seeds go ahead click on it go to MoGraph effector and shader now we're going to take the shader and turn on position and change the Z. Going to want to make it about minus 2, something like that. Um, I think on the last berry I did it was minus 2.5, but it's going to vary a little bit from uh, object to object. And as you can see, that's providing us with those indents that we want, like on the other strawberry. Now, as you can see, um, everything's a little bit laggy and it's making it a little hard for everything to load so now as you can see the indents aren't loading so they're not showing up right now but you know that's no big deal they will show up eventually it just you know when things start lagging it takes a while to load there we go they just loaded so that's how I got the indents by doing exactly what I just showed you here and as you can see once again these indents aren't loaded so we're not going to worry about that right now um, they will load, we already know that because they just did. So, you know, just give it time, it will load. Uh, really no big deal. Uh, so, probably the next thing we should do is start working on the materials. Um, I'm going to go ahead, just double click here, and then let's do another material. So, we're going to make one for the seeds, and we're going to make one for the berry. For the berry, we're going to want somewhat of a dark red. Um, I don't remember the exact thing I did for the strawberry before. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and wing it and hope it turns out alright. So reflection, add a Fresno, turn this down to about 5, turn the Fres Fresno down to about, I don't know, 13, something like that. Specular, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the uh, width a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in a bump. And then texture, noise, turn that down to about and two or three and then we're going to shrink the global down to about 36 um, and we'll go ahead and see how this looks hopefully it turns out okay uh, one thing we one thing we definitely need to do though is uh, let's go ahead and turn on global illumination um, under irradiance catch I'm going to go ahead and turn down uh, both of these both the uh, stochastic samples. I think that's how you pronounce it. Some of these things I'm not really sure. And then record record density. Excuse me. Record density. Go ahead and turn that to preview. Um, Anti-aliasing. Go ahead and turn this to best. And then we'll go ahead and render that real quick. Oh, well we still need a light source. So go ahead and grab out a sky. And then under presets, under content browser and presets. Uh, I'm going to go to Prime, Materials, HDRI, and I'm going to grab out, mm, which one do I want? Let's try this one. Okay, so just go ahead and add that on. See how it looks. Okay, that's looking decent. It's not great, but uh, it's decent. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this, Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and uncheck Scene by Camera, that way we're not showing up with the uh, sky in the background. So that looks okay. Um, we're probably going to want to turn down the uh, reflections a bit more, and perhaps some of the specular. As you can see, everything's kind of lagging now. Between the recording software I have open and then having both these projects open, it seems to be uh, bogging my computer down a bit. Um, so let's just, I don't know if I should end this now, 
yeah, it's almost, a, it's at 10 minutes now, so, um, I'm just going to go ahead and end this now, and then I will get part two of this tutorial up soon, and we'll discuss the uh, material some more, and uh, we'll also get into making the leaves and everything, and then I'll probably do part three for the real flow. So uh, anyway guys, I'm out of here, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hopefully you found it helpful, and uh, I hope you look forward to seeing part two and three of this. I'm out of here guys, peace.